Hello, this is Priscilla Batzell in my studio, and I have a pan in front of me that I'm going to fill with prison pour colors and then scoop them onto the canvas I have pre primed black. This is the Chantilly lace, and I am being very generous with it. I think maybe I'll add a little bit of water the next time I go to pour something out of here. Mix it in, make it a little thinner but I'm going to enjoy using it as a base for right now. Next, I'm going to add some of the Mayan gold. I'm going to be using a couple of shovels that I got that came with my bucket <laughs> from the dollar store. It's almost, it's getting on for spring. So you should have no problem eventually finding those. Next is African violet which is obviously a favorite because I have it in a large container. And then I've shaken up all my smaller bottles. I'm going to start with frozen. Make sure that's open. Oh no! Wow. Okay, I was afraid that was going to happen someday, but this is the perfect time for that to happen, honestly. Come on, out. If you've got to have an explosion of paint, have it into a a pan of colors that you want a bunch of colors in. Perfect. I'm not sure what to do with that. I'll put it aside, <laughs> deal with it in a minute. That top's always been a little bit unreliable. It's time to replace it. I don't have that trouble with most of the others. These are five ounce bottles available on my Amazon link. My Amazon link is under show more on the link tree. This is Fandango. Not a color I usually use next, but I love it with the purple and the frozen. So I have an awful lot of reds and pinks to come. We'll see how this goes. I seem to be starting with my blues and my purples, which is okay with me. This is blue velvet. I'm going to add some more of anything, so I better get on with it. This is Midnight Shadow, which is as close to navy blue or... Um, what's the color I'm thinking of? It's eluding me. It's a very dark, it's a very dark blue. It's right over there, I know it is. <laughs> okay, so I have a color mixed up that is half or, or partially Neptune's Gaze and a little bit of Frozen. Neptune's Gaze being a very turquoisey thing and Frozen being a very electric blue type color. Then I've got some deep amethyst, which is basically the darker version of the African violet. I get busy with the pink diamond. Which may come back again. Move these back out of my way. I haven't put any orange in there yet, so that's coming up. I have Three favorites. One is Sour Lemon with a little bit of Orange Crush, which usually uses everything up. But it's not. It's deciding it's going to have a hard day today. Come on out. Don't explode like, <laughs> like the Fandango. It's time to clean out a few more tips of my bottles. I've been using these for a while now, and uh, after a bit, it's time to take the top right off like that and clean it out. This is my custom mix of Big Apple and Orange Crush. And it's coming out just fine. Perfect. I've still got some Chantilly lace showing and I like that. This is a mix of Orange Crush. No, this is just the Orange Crush. Why am I trying to shake that again? It does seem like it's going to come out, doesn't it? I thought it was. Yeah, there we go. Let's just take that top right off for a minute. I can feel my need for pink rising to the surface. 
but that's okay because I have all my reds ahead. I'm going to start with a little poinsettia and check to see if it's open. That is a very magenta based red and it's gorgeous. I love it. Let's get some more of these out of my way and bring forward the ones that I... I never did get, rid, get the peacock ready and I think I'm going to throw some of that in there right now. Make sure the tab is off the top. Do my best anyway. occurs to me I don't have any yellow in there and I'm craving yellow and the Tuscan Sun is a beautiful golden yellow so I might as well give myself some of that. My paint pouring recipe is underneath the video as well as my cell activator recipe and the different recipes I use for bloom mixtures are with vivid enamel and non-bloom mixtures are still with vivid polypore and they work they're, I'm mixing them up and using both of them, and they work quite nicely. That is carnation, which is really, <laughs> really the bomb. I love this color. I could pick this all up with a spatula and put it down, and that would be kind of neat, but I'm suspecting that I may have a little bit of color left. This is Pink Lady, which I would like to be able to have free and clear and it seems like it's going to. I like my pan of colors, they're very pretty. This is Frosted Berry, which I already shook so I shouldn't shake it again. And it's, it's going to be an aid of adding back some negative space sort of thing, some, like the white would be. All right, I've got a 12 inch by 24 inch canvas. And I've got all the colors I could possibly want in there. Bring forward my... Do I? Do I really have all the colors I want in there? Do I ever? I'm adding a little bit of Frozen. And no, I have enough gold. So this is basically a transfer swipe with a shovel. I always called them shovel pours, but people are calling them transfer swipes, so why shouldn't I? And I'm just going to grab a big scoop full of that and wipe it off. I think I'm going to wipe it off on a different dish. No, maybe I'm not. Maybe I will. I'll try. I'm going to start part way in. And I might tip. Of course, if I'm going to tip, I should probably dribble my paint afterwards. Now, I thought about using the same shovel twice, but I really want to use a different shovel so I can get a different batch of colors. And I'm deciding right now that I want more pink because I don't see nearly enough of it in there. Or here. I don't think I'm going to ever have enough pink, not as long as I live. All right, now. I suspect that will drip down over the end just perfectly. Prison pour colors are available with a 20% off coupon code right underneath show more under the video. I'm going to grab another scoopful because I'm really liking what I'm seeing. This one's going to have a lot of gold in it and that is okay with me. Shovel pours are all about letting the paint relax out of the shovel. I see there is something in there and it needs to be removed. Of course, it could be a bubble. I think it was a bubble. 
But that might be the perfect time to go ahead and get some more paint. Which I'm surprised to say I might wind up using all of. I'm glad I have some GAC 800 in all of my paint mixtures because I'm very inclined to want to leave this paint heavy. And this was a special pour because I don't usually do rainbow pours, but this is what that is for sure. I'll leave a few dollops around since they're dolloping this, themselves around anyway. And they all ought to be beautiful and shimmery. I've got just enough paint left in here to probably use if I scoop the rest of it out. I've been fairly gentle with it so it shouldn't be too brown or mucky. I've been somewhat quick, and I still haven't done what I said I was going to do, which was... Let me turn that around and see if I like it better the other way. I need loops on this end. I can see that now. I'm quiet because I'm focused. I'm sorry about that. I get quiet. I know it's a, it's a danger that I'm going to put you to sleep with the chimes. So the nice thing about the heavy paint is that I can actually lead it around if I want to. This is just fabulous. I love the colors. I mean, part of me goes, well, maybe it's a little cheesy that it's rainbow colors, but I really say, who cares? And it is time to get out a spatula, a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, and take the paint I've got left and allow myself to fully utilize whatever it is because it's all gorgeous colors. And I feel loop-de-loops never hurt anybody. So what else should I tell you guys? I probably used up most of my time putting the paint in the pan. Yeah, it came pretty close. Um, how about this? I love you. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. If this is Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, excuse me, attached to Expressionist Art Studio or Expressionist Studio Priscilla Batzell. Okay, somebody's walking their dog. Then you should know I have a brand new channel Named Fluid Art Obsession, Syllabi. Which I'm going to grab the rest of this beautiful paint. Because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link. Next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. The Amazon link is on the link tree. The link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, a link to my Facebook group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I am going to try and get down here and shimmer a few things at you with the flashlight on my cell phone. If I can finish in time. I'm having too much fun placing paint and looking at the gorgeous shimmer. Come on, drip, drip, drip. If I can help you guys or answer any questions, please, by all means, let me know. I'm happy to help. 
If you shop my Amazon link, it's at no other cost to you. You'll find more than just the books there. You'll find my OXO Omelette Turning Flip and Fold Miraculous Paint Spreading Spatula by Good Grips. I never did use a single skewer to add any spirals because I probably don't need them, but they don't hurt anything either. I kind of like them, in fact. If you've seen me before, you know that. I like the pink dribbles that I put in. I think I like this just the way it is. I'm not tipping it. I'm sure somebody already knew that. And I think it'll be okay because of the GAC 800 by Golden, which you all need to use. It's expensive. It's an investment, for sure. I'm happy about the dots. And I have great colors. And I have a minute left. Or three. I have probably got a minute left to show you guys the sparkle. I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot else to this, but the chances of me not spiraling aren't good. So I'll just add a couple here and there. Keep using the pretty colors that I have left over. And I can also steal some, which has never been a problem before. <laughs> I like to steal them. Pop a few bubbles. Have a zoom in. That's fun. That's just, that's just riotous fun. That's just mm, delicious. I've got another light on that I can turn off so I can show you guys. A beautiful sparkle and I've got bubbles everywhere that I'm going to pop. Pop, pop. I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint very gently so I don't fry anything. I'm going to count my blessings that I had GAC 800 this time because if I didn't I don't think I would get away with this. I'll tell you guys again I love you and uh, if you shop my link tree, you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. I think the March 1st exhibition video prize, prize is at the beginning of the drawing. Um, at the beginning of the video. Sorry, I'm confused right now because I'm so enamored of this. Um, it's March 1st is the last drawing for a while until I change my mind about that. But go check out my new channel. There's not a lot there yet. But go subscribe. And I'll get around to getting more there, I promise. Because I have a fluid art obsession. <laughs> For sure. And I just want to keep playing. And you're going to be gone in a second. And I do want to just keep playing. Dots. I like the dots a lot. <laughs> I'm a dot a lot of. I know. I'm silly right now. All right. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And um, I will see you when on. Check spring clothing underneath the video. And if you can't find what you're looking for and you'd like to see it added to merchandise like at spring or pixels.com or Farnet America or Society6, all on my link tree, just ask me. Please ask questions and comments if you'd like to, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I'm pretty sure you're going to be gone in a second, but if you're not, I want to say thank you guys very much for the donations that help keep me painting all this time. Thank you for the wonderful comments that keep my morale boosted. And no, I love you, and you inspire the heck out of me. And on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery, Expressionist Studio Priscilla Batel, I still post at midday, at noon. And I will probably still have occasional videos at midnight, both Eastern Standard Time. Where did I see that bubble? There it is. I'm going to link those up. I might be sorry about that. All right. Whatever I forgot to tell you, you'll see in another video. Go check out my Legalers clothing. It's on the link tree. It's investment quality, and it's got my designs, and I would like some suggestions as to what else to add there. I give lessons at the House in Spring Hill, Florida, and use my email address. E-A-S, 
pb and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com to contact me if you have an interest in purchasing an artwork. And know my paint pouring recipes are both underneath the video. How do I shimmer that at you guys?